everybody! This is your Plantita Greta and I've been really busy <laughs> since earlier um, repotting and making plastics that I used, recycled plastic, into new pots, technically like nurseries as they call it and we're gonna be using them. Sayang eh, you know, you can recycle them but at the same time you can use them for plants. So I'm gonna teach you a little technique that I do here so that you can use it for your plants. If you have these plastic containers, it could be this size or this bigger one. I prefer the deeper one because it just has more depth and you can put the, the roots deeper. But if you don't have that, or you can use any, like I just found this at home. Old pots that I used that are just in storage. This one can also be used. Um, this is one of the plastic ones that I successfully made earlier. And then eventually you can put it in another pot. So you're just making them transition because they came from bottles. This is how I propagated them. This is a tequila bottle. This is a ready-to-drink coffee bottle. So I took it out, that's the one there. And then this is another one that I'm going to repot. So, the, look at the roots, it's really so established. Okay, so what do you need? You need these plastics, scissors, cutter, I have duct tape, but I prefer um, packing tape so that it's see-through. And then you use your soil and potting soil and the others for later. But for now, what I like to do is, in the middle, I try to make a cut. Sometimes it's a bit hard. And it breaks. So that's why you have to be very careful. So I massacred this one. And then you just cut it there. I think one is enough because it's a big hole. So what I would do now is I'm going to seal it so that it doesn't leak. Because once you put soil in there, it's just gonna fall over. But the reason why you put holes in your pots or your plastic containers is so that the soil will be well draining. You know, you don't want it to have uh, root rotting because it's gonna die. So you're just gonna make the plastic secure because like I said, I broke it. You're just gonna make it stable so that it doesn't leak when there's water. You can double it up because um, mine reached up to the ends. I'm not the Hulk, but apparently I'm too strong. So you remember you have that hole there in the middle. And you just poke it again. It doesn't necessarily have to be that big. Remember, when you put soil, it's going to be heavy, so you need to have the base very secure. By the way, this is just um, a DIY at home. If you have pots at home, well and good. But I'm just trying to recycle these um, plastic containers. So this is how it looks. There's a hole somewhere there. There, you can see that little hole there. Okay, next. I always have to have this. Um, you, ha you can buy this in uh, hardware stores. It's like a catcher so that it doesn't spill when you put your potting soil. Because normally it already goes to the hole. You could put bigger stones so that you know, it doesn't fall off. See, I told you there's something that fell off already. But just to have a good base. You put your first layer there before you put your actual soil. It's really dark. Looks like chocolate. I feel like this is enough. I put a little hole there. Okay, like a circle. So I want to use this one because I think there's a lot of roots there. It's pretty high and Let's see. I think it's a perfect fit. Okay. I could add a little more soil just to fill it up. You know, it's normal that you make a mess, it's part of it. Just clean up after. I sometimes put, you know, I cut the big, big plastic 
um, like like a plain garb a, a see-through garbage bag. I just cut that and I make a big square like a mat. So that's where I do my clutter when I'm indoors. Like right now, I don't have a garden uh, or a balcony, so I'm making a mess inside the house so that you know it catches everything. Okay, so we're going to okay say bye bye to the water. Bye. Look at that beautiful root. There you go. I think this is tall enough. Okay, we're gonna be careful about the root. It's super fragile. Okay, just gonna make space for the stem. It's quite tricky this one because it has a stem and the root already. It's pretty high. So what will happen is some of the roots will be protruding when I repot this one because it's just the way that it is. Okay, now I'm gonna add more soil. You know, guard, indoor gardening, gardening, repotting, propagating, and it just relaxes me so much. Now it's time to add more soil. So this is where they're going to live now. This is just going to be the transition home and eventually if it gets bigger, I'm going to transfer it in another pot. Because this is such a messy bug. It really thrives so fast. As you can see with the roots. This is just a stem cutting. I got it from my friend. I just said, can I? have a few um, stems of that plant of yours and she said okay and then it survived the funny thing is sometimes I recycle soil and then eventually when you know it's happy there in its pot my gosh the old plant still had roots in the soil and it would grow so it would be a combination of two different plants in one pot, which is so funny. But it just means that they're healthy and they're happy, so why not share the pot, right? You could put um, a topper, like this kind of potting soil over it, if you like. Just make sure. It also um, keeps the moisture intact. Some people put like little pebbles and stones. It really is up to you, you know. Just research if it's um, compatible, if it's gonna work well, if this plant likes to be moist, does it like to be more dry? But normally the ones that I propagate are actually very friendly with water. Okay, so this is our repotted plant in its new plastic container. <laughs> so there you go. Don't forget to put this. Immediately after repotting, you need to water it. Remember, it came from water, so it's going to be very thirsty. Just an ample amount to get the soil moist. Because of the hole we made, it's going to be draining anyway. If you put too much. There you go. So I think this is good. We've repotted one, two, three, four. This is our fifth plant. I repotted these Birkins too. Yeah, look how pretty they are. Got this pot on sale. I super love these it's, um, cement with some paint finish. They get a lot of sunlight in the window that you, that you see behind me. So this is the perfect place for them to grow. And I will be giving you an update on uh, what happens next because I am going to cut my pothos for stem propagation, but that's for another episode. So again, these are our newly propagated, repotted,
the Birkin. There you go. I'll be posting more videos on plant propagation, repotting, and other techniques. Um, if you like this episode, do comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you have any questions, I would gladly answer your questions. Like this episode and share it with a friend, especially friends who like plants and are plantitas like me. And please do subscribe to this channel because I will be seeing you and I'll be posting more plantita stuff very, very soon. It's a Greta life. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss an episode and leave a comment below. Share this video with a friend and remember, it's a great life. It's a Greta life.